Let's talk about multi-threading and race conditions. First of all, if you have multiple threads, what you're doing is you're creating multiple process counters, basically, that run at the same time. So two programs kind of within a single program. So let's go ahead and write a program. So we'll do nano. And I'm going to call this threading or just thread.py. That's good. So in my program, I need to, first of all, make sure I use the Python interpreter. So user bin Python. And I want to import the threading library. So I import threading. Next, I want to have a global variable. So I'll have this global variable total, and I'll just equal zero. And what I want to do is figure out how I can make it bigger. So I'm going to create this new function, def add count and i'm going to pass in some count and what i'm going to do is just add that number to the total so i've got the global total so i'm going to use that i'm going to have this new total which is going to be equal to the total and then i just need to add my count to it i'm going to count down to get to it so i'll do a while count count I'm going to do a count minus equals one, but I can just do count equals count minus one, so it's clear. And then I'll do a new count or new total. Total equals new total plus one. So basically just counting down my count and then adding to the new total. And at the end, I can just set my total global to my new total. All right, so that should be pretty good. Um, I can use this function. Um, I do add count, let's say 100. And then I'm going to print out, print my total equal to percent D. And actually I don't need that. Um, And then I will put my total here. So I'm going to do that. Uh, and just to see how it works, I'm going to do that a couple times. So, um, so I'm going to add a thousand twice. But I'm going to do it basically one at a time, and then, well, see how that works. So I'll go and save that. I will um, survive thread, and then I'll run my program. And I think I'm missing something important. Uh, Python 3, maybe. All right. All right. So it's 2,000 is my total. Because I added 1,000 and then I added 1,000 more. Well, I could probably make it going faster if I had these things go at the same time in threads. So now I'm going to use my threads. So I'm going to create the first thread. Do t1 equals threading, threading dot thread. And I'm going to pass it the target of my add count function. And my arguments, args, are going to equal to this thing right here. All right. So what this is doing is it's going to then spawn off a thread that's going to run the add count. And then when it's done, it'll be done. Um, so I just do a T1 start. And I'll do a T1 join to have the thread rejoin back in my main program and end. So that's all you do. Basically just run a thread that way. So this right here should only add 1,000. So I'll go ahead and run that just so you can see that it works. And you can see it has 1,000. Now, instead of doing 1,000, one time, I'm going to have, actually, let's do this. Let's do three different threads. So T1, T2, and T3. And then I will do this T1. I'll start them all. So one, two, and three. And then I will join them all. 
Join one, two, and three. So this should be 3,000 total when it's completed. So we'll go ahead and see what happens. So I run that, and it says 3,000. Run it again, 3,000. See, so 3,000 every time. Perfect. Now, what if I do something a little bit longer? So instead of doing 1,000, I'm going to do a million. So add three more zeros at the end of each one of these. And run it. So I got three different threads running simultaneously. They're all adding a million. And then I get the total. So I got to run that, and it comes out with 2 million. Well, that's interesting. Run it again. 2 million. 3 million. 2 million. 2 million. 2 million. 2 million. 1 million. So what we have here is what we call a race condition. Now what's happening is this ad count is running, but because this thing takes so long, when it grabs this global and puts it into new total, it's possible that this one, that thread one, is still in the middle of processing when thread two starts. Or maybe it's in the middle of processing when thread three starts. But either way, they're not getting the same total number. They're not getting everything. So maybe the global, when it comes in and grabs this uh, new total, it might be at zero. And then the next one, when it starts up, it might be at zero. The next one, it might be at a million because the first one's already completed. We don't know what's happening. All we know is that they are not producing a good consistent value. And that's what we call a race condition because the order of the threads completing makes a difference in how, it, how the end result turns out. That's because each one of these things has a different process and uh, different program counters, different sets of memory. All these different things are separate, and so it creates a race condition. All right. So I hope that helps you understand how race conditions work and also how to do basic threading in Python.